Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links, you guessed it, in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today's Thursday. When I upload on Thursdays, I typically do a throwback Thursday, bringing back to life an old DIY that I probably did several years ago. I've been on YouTube over five years now, which means I have over 700 videos here on YouTube, and I just feel like some of those DIYs were really great ones, but they've kind of gotten lost. They've kind of lost their life, and they're not being seen anymore. Last week, I was cleaning out my garage. I was reorganizing my craft stash, and I ran across this DIY that was in a box that I typically store my favorite DIYs in. And when I looked in this box and I saw this DIY, I thought to myself, oh my goodness, why is this not up in my house? This was actually one of my favorite DIYs. And I think that's what happens when you have 700 videos up on YouTube. Some of these DIYs get lost in the shuffle or lost in the mix. And I just thought, wow, I need to do a throwback Thursday because this is hands down one of my favorite DIYs because it has that country chic feel to it, not farmhouse, country chic. This is such a budget friendly DIY and I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing, let's jump into it and let's throw back to I don't know how many years ago on this Thursday today and let me bring to you a DIY that I think you're absolutely gonna love. Let's get to it. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll wanna stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, let's get started with this quick and easy Moss DIY. This is going to cost you under $5 to make. For this DIY, I'll be using this jar and this twine. I picked this jar up at the Dollar Tree, but you could very easily recycle a spaghetti jar, a salsa jar, and save yourself a dollar. I'm going to start off by taking the twine and I'm going to wrap it around the neck of this jar just to kind of cover up where the lid would go and because it's twine and I like to add twine to my DIYs. For this next step I'll be using these jumbo popsicle sticks that I got at Walmart. These have a round edge and a flat edge here. Not a big deal if you don't have the flat edge. I saw them at Walmart, thought they were cool so I picked them up. You can get jumbo popsicle sticks at the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna hot glue these to the outside of this jar going around. And this is why I liked that flat edge on these because you can line it up on the bottom very easily and it's gonna be flat instead of round. You could always cut the jumbo sticks from the Dollar Tree, but if you're at Walmart and you wanna save yourself a couple steps, you can get these for just about the same price. The moss that I'm gonna be using today is this moss roll that you can find at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. You can even find it at Walmart. I definitely check Walmart first because it was only $10 a roll, and this is a fairly good size roll. I'm gonna take a strip of the moss, and this moss, I think it's about three inches wide, and I'm gonna hot glue it to the center of the popsicle sticks going around the outside of the jar. Just a quick tip to stop the moss from flaking off so it's not so messy. If you take an aerosol hairspray, this is one that I picked up from the Dollar Tree, and you just give the moss a good spray with this hairspray, it's going to make it stick together just like it would work with your hair, and it's going to stop it from flaking off. And then I thought I'd go back in with the twine just to kind of break up the moss a little bit and wrap it around the center of the moss a few times. This DIY is in definite need of one of my twine bows using Dollar Tree's twine. You can very easily thicken up your bow with this thinner twine just by layering your strands. And so I'm gonna make my bow about eight to 10 strands thick and it's gonna give me a nice thick full bow. Because I have these paper flowers on hand already in my stash, these were Ones that I found at Michael's in their dollar bins, I thought that the orange would go nicely with this, give this a pop of color. 
I'm gonna remove the flower itself from the clothespin because I don't need the clothespin. I just want the flower itself and I think I'm just gonna hot glue it right below the bow here. And that is all there is to this DIY and the outcome is so stinking rustic. It is chic, I love it. I picked up these orange flowers from Walmart for a dollar a bunch. I really wanted to go with the orange flowers just to give this a pop of color. Let's move on to Moss DIY number two, another super quick and easy one that's only gonna cost you a couple of dollars. For this DIY, I picked up a book from the Dollar Tree that I'll be using. On the back of the moss, there is a paper liner. You're gonna wanna remove it for this DIY. I'm gonna cut a piece of the moss just a bit bigger than the book itself, maybe by a half an inch, not much, because I really don't wanna waste any of this moss. I wanna get as much use out of this moss as I can. And so we're just gonna cut it about a half inch on the top and the bottom bigger than the book itself. I'll be using a combination of a spray adhesive and I really prefer this Scotch spray adhesive. This is one that you can get at Joann's for just a couple of dollars using a 50% off coupon. I'm gonna spray it on the back side of this moss so it sticks to the cover of the, the book. Once I've got the moss folded over the book cover itself, right along the top and the bottom edge of the book where there's that half inch of moss that's still hanging out, those edges that I'm gonna tuck in, that's where I'm gonna go in with the hot glue gun and just glue those edges. The hot glue is gonna hold it way better than the spray adhesive will because they're such small pieces. And again, I'm gonna give this a good spray with my aerosol hairspray just to keep the pieces from flaking off. For this, I decided that I really wanted to go with two books and I wanted them to be two different sizes so when I stacked them, it gave dimension. I'm gonna wrap the two books with twine just like you would wrap a present with ribbon and I'm doing this with six strands of twine just to make it a bit thicker and I figured that this would be just a fun way to keep these books together and just add some twine to this DIY because you know I just can't get enough twine in my DIYs. And because I tied it in a knot to keep it good and tight, I made a separate twine bow just to add to the top here. And again, because I had these paper flowers on hand already from Michaels, I figured that the cream would give this just a subtle chic feel. And again, look at how quick and easy this was and the outcome is amazing. I love the look of these books wrapped in moss. I love the look of the twine wrapped around it and I really do think that the flowers add a chic feel to this. Such a quick and easy DIY and so budget friendly. You can do this for under $5. Let's move on to Moss DIY number three. This is such an easy one. You are gonna love it. For this DIY, I'm gonna be using this wood flower frame that the Dollar Tree just started carrying. I'm gonna place it face down on the back of the moss and I'm gonna trace it, then just that simply cut it out. Using my spray adhesive, I'm gonna spray the back side of the moss after I've removed the paper and I'm gonna cover the front of the wood flower frame with the moss. For the center of this flower, I am going to put one of my twine flowers if you have not seen the tutorial on how I make those, I will link it in the description box below for you. And for the center of the flower, I'm just gonna add a brown button that I had on hand already. And that there is all there is to this DIY. This is one of those DIYs that's made to maybe add as an accent to a gallery wall, just something to kind of break up the pictures and add a little bit of character. Moving on to Moss DIY number four. This is another DIY that's gonna cost you only a couple of dollars to make. Now for this DIY, you're gonna wanna make sure that you keep all those scraps if you've done any of the other DIYs because this is where we're gonna utilize those scraps and really get the most out of our moss. I'm gonna cover one of these, I guess, wood chip letters this is a letter that I had on hand. It's a letter you can get at Walmart. You can get them at just about any craft store for just a couple of dollars, depending on what size you want. 
and I'm going to take my scraps, I'm going to trace my letter, and I am going to cover the front of this letter with all the scraps of my moss. And it's going to work fine. The moss, even though it's scraps, when you put it together, you can push the moss together at the seams and cover up the seams. And you're none the wiser that scraps were used to make this and it's a great way to utilize those small pieces that you have left over from other DIYs. And you guessed it, I am gonna add another one of those paper flowers onto this just to give it a pop of color. I also had some of these sawtooth hangers on hand from a previous DIY that I had done a couple weeks ago. I saved these when I took them off of the marble wall plaques from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to just put one on the back using some hot glue so I can hang this on my gallery wall. And there again we've got another chic piece. You can see that you can't see any of the seams from where we used the scraps. Great way to utilize these scraps and the outcome of this is so country chic I can hardly stand it. This fifth and final Moss DIY is so quick and easy and is, again, if I sound like I'm repeating myself, gonna only cost you a couple dollars to do. For this DIY, I'm using one of these five by seven frames that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. You can use any size frame you want. This is just the size that I need for my wall, so that's what I'm using. I'm gonna throw away the stand because we only need the glass. Again, this is a quick and easy DIY that is perfect for any of those moss scraps that you have. You saw I keep all my scraps in a Ziploc baggie just for projects like this because they work perfect for it. I used a bit of spray adhesive, but I started to realize that the spray adhesive wasn't going to be strong enough to hold it onto the frame. And so I did go in with some hot glue along the edges and hot glue the moss to the frame. I also found that using scissors it really didn't cut close enough to the frame and so I decided just to go in with my straight edge razor and that seemed to work perfectly. I got a nice clean cut along the edge and it really didn't take much time at all. Once I've got the frame covered in moss, I'm going to go ahead and replace the glass back into the frame. I didn't show it, but I ended up removing the metal prongs that actually hold the glass and the backing in because it was going to show. So I'm using a bit of hot glue just to hold the glass in. And on the front side, using one of Dollar Tree's glue dots on the back of this picture, I'm going to add a picture just to the glass itself. And this is Allison's spring pictures from school last year. I use the glue dots so that way if I want to replace and change out the picture, I can easily. And because I have one last paper flower left, I figured that this would be perfect addition to this at the bottom corner just again to add a little bit of color and I think it goes perfect with Allie's picture. I love this. I think that this is such a fun different way to decorate a frame. It's something out of the norm, something a bit different than you see every day. And if you add this to a gallery wall, I think that it's definitely something that's going to stand out and pop. I love all these moss pieces that I put together and I did them all to tie them in together because they are all going in the same room. Oh my goodness, yes, we got our new fur babies, Winnie and Abiza. Kayla introduces them to you all today, so head on over to her channel. You can find the link to this video in the description box below. Now, who is our first KB Creations crafter of the day? It's Brenda Ricks, bringing to us a lemon tiered tray. Amazing. I absolutely love it. Thank you, Brenda. Who knew moss could be so gorgeous? I love, love, love the look of this. And after seeing these, I just decided that I was going to wrap all of my books that were on my bookshelf that I use to display that are just there for, I guess, decor purposes. I'm going to wrap them all in moss because I absolutely love the look of them. I think that this was such a budget-friendly DIY. And like I said, you can get those moss sheets at Walmart, you can get them at Michaels, you can get them online. They're not very expensive. And I do, however, suggest using, like I said, the sheets instead of the moss bags because you're gonna get a better outcome and it's gonna lay nicer and you're not gonna get as much fallout. I hope you all enjoyed today's Throwback Thursday DIY from how many years ago? Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below 
They really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please and bye for now everybody.